In this video, we're going to check out the 1.1 firmware for the Deluge. We're going to check out MIDIFELLOW. To access settings, press shift and push select knob. And we're going to scroll down to MIDI and go to MIDIFELLOW. So here we have some settings. Channel. Now you can choose three different channels of external MIDI controllers to control the parameters on here. I'm just going to use channel A for now. Now you just hold down learn, then press a key on the keyboard. And now it's all learned. That's all I have to do. Now, if you have gear or software that can receive feedback and show it visually, that's what this is for. So currently I have channel and set it to none. My Novation keyboard cannot accept incoming CCs. Check out the link in the description below. If you have an app called Loopy Pro, there is a template on there. So make sure to check it out. Let's go back. It says display parameters. That's enabled. So whatever I change will be displayed. I'm gonna press any pad, it's gonna save the settings. So I've already programmed my keyboard here with a template. There's an entire CC mapping list if you check out the link in the description below. What I wanna do before that is press song, effect entire, press level. We're gonna turn the volume down to 20. That's the master level. I did that because I don't want the audio to clip. So if you bring it down to about 20, you should be fine. Let's also press sidechain and turn that up. That's the master compressor threshold. Now I'm in grid view. If you're not in grid view, just hold down song and turn the select knob. You can have rows or grid. Grid has the green, blue, and pink pads on the right hand side. That's how you know you're in grid. Now here is the clip we were in. Let's jump in, press shift synth. Now we have a new synth. Now let's play on the keyboard here. So I have that, but I also have the controls now. So let's turn the cutoff, for example. And then resonance. Over here, I programmed reverb level. So if I turn that up. Also, I have high pass. So let's change that. So you can easily mold all the sounds. I also have delay, so let's change the delay time, and then the feed, and then delay feedback. I also have decimation. Now these four faders I have set to ADSR of envelope one, so I can change the attack time, release. Turn attack all the way down. Turn up release and decay. On the second screen that I programmed, volume, pan, can change the pitch, sidechain, wavefold, portamento. I have arpeggiator rate and arpeggiator gate. So that's how I have it set up on here. This also controls ADSR of envelope two, but I don't have anything assigned to it right now. So that's one synth right there. If I press song, we're back in grid mode. We're in blue, which means I'm gonna create a new clip here. I'm gonna hold it down so it doesn't jump in. I can turn this to one of my presets. So if I want to go back into the other synth, just hold it down. If I want to enter in, I just tap it. it won't change anything though, so let's go back to song. Let's listen to the other preset here. Let's create another one. Hold it down. Let's turn this. This is a grand piano, so it's a multi-sample instrument. And of course I can change all the settings here. So the cutoff, let's add some delay. Turn down the feedback. Turn down reverb a little. Now let's go to this one. 
Let's turn up the cutoff. Maybe turn down the resonance. Turn down a high pass. Let's create another one. This one will be strings. Now that has high release, high attack, because it fades in. So we're in blue mode, let's hold it down, press kit, let's turn this. We're gonna go to kit eight. Now that that's selected, let's jump in actually. Let's go back and check our settings. Shift, push down the select knob. Down to MIDI, we see select kit row. Make sure that's enabled. So now if I hit any of these keys, they're already pre-mapped with MIDI follow mode, pre-maps. So it selects the pad without even pressing it. Let's say I want to change the LPF on the kick. I can change the pitch. So let's make a quick beat. And add some hi hats. And just tap one of these. Let's change the LPF cut of that. I can also just press effect entire. Now, if I do LPF cut, it changes on the master kit. You can also change the pitch of everything. So I can press record and it records it in. So if I press clip, we're gonna go into automation. We can see I modified the pitch. So let's jump in. There's the pitch. Let's exit. Back to the notes. You can really hear it now because we're triggering a hi-hat and we can hear that pitch. Let's press record again. There we go. Now let's go back out to grid view. Let's press green and what, I'm just gonna play some notes in here. Now let's hold this down, make sure sidechain is turned up. Let's turn up sidechain for all these. That way it bounces with that kick. Let's record another one here. Now that plays a little longer, it auto extends. So you just press it before you stop that bar and then it'll just start looping, which is very nice. Let's play here. That's a shorter one and it's just looping. Now if I wanna just get rid of these, hold it down, press delete, it's gone. Let's just record it into here. Now that's playing, but I can press record. We can also can just change the cutoff. Now that's recorded in. Let's record in here. here. I'm going to do one here. All that was recorded in. into here. Now that's going to loop. Let's copy the drums down. I'm going to select them. Let's go in. Change the beat a little.
going to pitch here. Make sure we're in master, effect entire. Turn off record. Let's turn up the volume. Now let's create an audio clip. So we're in blue mode. Hold down an empty pad. Click in the select knob. We're in an audio clip. I'm just going to make sure the source is set to recording the output. So learn, tap it. Just have to set this one time to lose output. So now I can record that in. Then we'll just press all of them and it'll just close the loop and it'll turn all those off and just play the loop. So that's what happened. Now the settings on this, it's a little quiet, so let's turn it up a little. Now while that's playing, I can actually change the settings to it, because we have that selected. Change the pitch. And turn up reverb. Change the cutoff, resonance. HPF cutoff, resonance. Turn it up a little. So it's really nice to have all the controls right here I can play around with and easily mold some cool sounds. Turn up delay. Quicker. Play with a decimation. I want a different clip here, so I'm going to copy it down. And I'm going to trigger it. Now I'll be able to change the pitch, for example, once we're in here. If I don't want to wait, I can just press Shift and press both. I'll change the cutoff. Turn down the resonance a little. Disable record. So we have that one. Switch to this one. Switch to this one. 